Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Del Rey, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, Straight Game TV. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Um, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and more importantly, if you want to be one of the first people uh, notified when I drop some of this Straight Game, please, please uh, uh, chime in and hit that bell notification. I'm going to get right into it. Breaking news, y'all. Um, Snoop Dogg. Uh, Snoop has acquired the brand that launched him, uh, Death Row Records. Um, he basically did this just days before. Um, he's going to be performing at the halftime show uh, at the Super Bowl. Him, Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar. Um, like I said, yo, this is a power move. Um, um, uh, but most people uh, who, would, who would run with the story, um, not having all of the facts, just, just, just to make this clear, um, it, it does not involve the uh, uh, the rights to the music, um, but a deal for that may be in the uh, uh, near future. Um, but this is, involves the brand, a name of Death Row, and like I said, in which Snoop now can use to uh, add to the catalog and launch uh, his new project, as well as other artists um, he deems to sign to uh, to the label or to the brand Death Row. And that involves merchandise and, and I'm sure all, a bunch of other things. Um, uh, basically, Snoop acquired the uh, the brand from um, MNRK Group, which was a uh, private equity group, um, which involved Blackstone, the Blackstone Group. For a lot of people who don't know about investing, very powerful uh, uh, investment uh, equity group. And um, yeah, I, I, I gotta say, you know, even though it doesn't involve the uh, the music rights. Um, this is a power move when you talk about branding um there's a lot of a uh, uh, value that that uh snoop believes that um untapped value according to him that he believes that um can uh be uh derived from the death row uh, uh brand at this particular time and like i said it could come no at no better time than the time right now like i said right before their um launching uh uh this this crazy super bowl halftime show which is going to be spectacular you know dr dre snoop dogg mary j blige kendrick lamar eminem um and so like i said um snoop basically said in a statement um he said i am thrilled and appreciative of the opportunity to acquire the iconic and culturally significant death row records brand which has immense untapped future value it feels good to have ownership of the label I was part of at the beginning of my career and as one of the founding members this is an extremely meaningful moment for me um, I would like to uh, personally thank the teams at Blackstone MNRK and especially uh, David uh, Kestenbaum who worked collaboratively uh, with me over several months to make this exciting homecoming a reality I'm looking forward to building the next chapter of Death Row Records and so now what a lot of people don't understand, like when you when you when you have a brand like Death Row, um, and and the significance of that, and I, I've covered it in, in prior videos, is that um, you know, it, it's very powerful, and 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 in the name and and what it's done for hip hop, uh, gangster rap, and so on and so forth, and so um, you know, whether it's branding, music, um, documentaries. All of those things that involve that, like I said, once again, it, it's a great thing. Signing new groups from the West Coast, East Coast, um, you know, um, and, and Snoop can also, if he wants to, you know what I mean? And, and using the Death Row brand, uh, he, he can now start, you know, Death Row East if he wanted to, you know, from that perspective. But, um, yeah, I think this is a very powerful move. Um, but like I said, it doesn't involve the music rights, so it doesn't involve him buying the music catalog, you know, um, just to make that clear but yet and still it's still uh, like i said it's still one of those monumental moves that um snoop is known for and always hooking up with different uh brands you know whether it's uh, uh, uh martha stewart whether it's um you know from a beer company 
uh, to food, to his own hot dog brand. You know, all of those things, you know, are very, very important. Like I said, I just recently seen a video with, uh, with Snoop and he came back to Long Beach and he did a song um, with, with Nate Dogg's son, you know, uh, at Nate Dogg's grave site, which is, uh, like I said, once again, you know, Snoop, Snoop is Snoop. And he, he's always done those things. Um, the football league, um, all of the people that he's helped and blessed and try to, you know, get their thing in. And, and a lot of times not even involving him asking for something, you know, just trying to really give somebody the leg up when he believes in you. So. I take my hat off to Snoop and whoever else is involved with this situation um, in acquiring the brand of Death Row. Um, yeah, but on another note, um, you know, it's 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 kind of ironic because when you think about it, all of the, the 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 turmoil and and the drama that Snoop had to deal with when he was on Death Row and him speaking on it recently, um, I think um, I think this is you know a full circle move when you think about it, you know. Uh, Snoop, the uh, the chronic. When you think about you know coming out with that first, and um, then dropping Doggy Style, um, you know him, the DOC, uh, Dick Griffey, Suge, um, you know when they, the inception of what that was in the beginning, and and now to come full circle now, and you to now own the brand name, and and control the brand name, uh, basically. Of death row and like i said a lot of the uh details of the uh brand were not disclosed but like i said more importantly it's back in somebody's hands who can actually you know put the uh, fuel to the fire under what that is and help push it forward and like i said anything coming with the death row brand anything like that you know now they have to go through snoop you know for licensing and so on and so forth so it's a, it's a great it's a great thing but um yeah, I, I I wonder how Suge feels, you know, and that's not in a um not being facetious or anything like that. Like like all of the you know the the drama and everything that that Snoop as well as Tupac as well as all of the people who were under death row at that particular time had to go through. Um, I just wonder how he feels about this. You know, hopefully he would feel you know happy for Snoop. You know what I mean? But if not, then hey, it is what it is. But like I said, you know. Um, Snoop has done a lot of positive things in the community and um, like I said you know they said uh, lies run sprints but the truth runs as a marathon and uh, you know Snoop ain't nothing but the truth he's always been that you know despite all of the haters and people who might want to uh, uh, try to uh, uh, salt his name um, like I said from what I understand and what I've seen you know the football league and all of those things that he's invested his money in in the community um, you got to take your hat off to that you know what I mean? Um, I, you know, I put my personal feelings aside when I look at a person and I say, hey, you know what? You know, uh, he's done way more good than people would, would, would think uh, uh, possible, you know, under the circumstances, like I said. And so, you know, my hat off to Snoop. Um, yeah. And I can't wait to see basically what, what comes of, of this situation involving that. And, and as of recent, um, uh, Suge Knight had just uh, sold uh, his life rights. Uh, to make a movie about his life rights and I, I would think you know more importantly surrounding his time at death row you know that's what people came to know him for and so anything um involving the death row name the brand name uh, he would have to now go through snoop um and and like i said so hopefully you know whatever that entails you know if it's gonna in involve the death row name whatever that entails i would hope that they can you know come together and and make magic with that I think it would be very, very powerful, um, you know, and I wonder also how Dr. Dre got to feel about this. You know what I mean? You know, um, in, in, in that whole situation, like him leaving death row and now seeing, you know, the guy that he ultimately uh, produced um, along with Warren G bringing Snoop to Dre. And, you know, um, that that whole thing come full circle right back to the hands of the people, the creative hands of the people who really made it and gave it value with the music, the production. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can have a brand name, but if you don't have any talent or, or any content to put under that brand name, it's basically worthless. And so the people who actually uh, gave it value is, 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 is who hold the rights now, and, and rightfully so. So like I said, I, I take my hat off to Snoop, Dre, um, and, and everybody involved with this situation that made this situation possible. Can't wait to hear 
what they got coming next. And I can't wait to see the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, like I said, your boy Delray, straight game.